Why does that stuff change? How does that do what it just did? Hmm. Sid the Science Kid is a cheerleader for science readiness with a curriculum called Preschool Pathways to Science that was created by cognitive researchers and preschool educators. When we put the thermometer in something warm, the red line will go up. And when we put the thermometer in something cold, the red line will go down. Right. We have a robust educational outreach program and we were recently approached by PBS station WEDU and Hillsborough County Public Schools in Tampa, Florida to have SIDS educational content be the basis for their district-wide summer pre-K program. Really solid, engaging, fun science curriculums like SID the Science Kid curriculum is something that students need. They need that framework, they need that basis. A lot of our kindergartners are coming to us very prepared to read, but they've not been prepared in the past for science and for critical thinking. It's tin time, let's get ready. Time to do some work today. Kids are naturally curious, so it just like, you know, kind of nurtures that. And before you know it, like my kids yesterday when they walked out of my classroom, they all believed that they were scientists. Did you hear the one about the kid who wanted to know everything about everything? That's you! <laughs> The more we got into it, the more exciting it became. Because you look at the components of this curriculum. We've got the DVD with the topic that's aligned with the standards. We've got a book. There's a literacy piece to support this program. We've got music. We've got an investigation where the children are hands-on using science tools. Every one of your children are going to pick up something because all those learning styles are hit through all the different components of this program that we were able to put together. Okay, scientists, let's look at your journal. Uh, I almost guessed all the smells right. I'd say my nose did a pretty good job. <laughs> hey, give me five, nose. First day, I remember when I asked them to do something on their journal, they're used to drawing their mommies. But later, I didn't have to tell them. They would draw amazing inventions on their own with very little prompting. This is a food and water walking ship. Whoa! Yeah. Totally cool, okay. It provided some, um, some sound knowledge um, for the teachers and then some exciting activities for the students and a character that they could really relate to. Scientist in the house. Yeah. Many elementary school teachers, especially at the early years, uh, K2, uh, have a difficulty finding appropriate resources uh, that are geared and targeted towards uh, that specific age group of kids. So programs such as Sid the Science Kid really help them bring science to life and make it fun for the students in their classrooms. Let's go on an inertia adventure. Three, two, one. And they're through the tunnel. The most eye-opening part is that the teachers really bought into the whole Sid the Science Kid curriculum. They looked at it and they said, this is great. It's planned out for me. I know what I need to do. I know how I need to do it. It's not difficult. It's fun. And they saw the kids enjoying it so much, it made them want to do it even more. And the thing is, when a teacher is excited about a topic, that's just automatically transferable to the students. I thought, okay, sure, they're gonna learn a little bit. I'm gonna expose them to a little bit of science vocabulary and, you know, maybe we'll have a little bit of fun. But I did not think that it would be the highlight of my summer and highlight of all those 24 kids. We love it! The program at Hillsborough County Schools shows that Sid the Science Kid is a great way for every child to find his or her inner scientist and begin a lifetime of learning. Wow!